just when the mosquitoes hit the hell point on the curve, that's when the bears come out. And we are gonna get a bear. If you have gloves on, and a jacket, and thick pants, and a net, and if you don't expose a single inch of skin, or tight clothes, then you don't really get bit much. It's just more, it's more mental, it's more mental anguish. It's kind of like being deep underwater and knowing that like if your air supply is cut off, you're done. Except out here, it's like, if your net rips open or something, you're just not gonna make it, you're not even gonna make it back to the truck. Let's just go for a walk. Look at this, this horde of suffering. with that bear. <laughs> you could make a lot of bear smokies out of that. Yeah. I think that's probably a grizz though. So, we can't shoot them unless they're gnawing on you.
small. He looks beautiful though. Yeah. He's uh, 300 yards maybe. Yeah, he's a good bear. We'll get him if we can. The problem is if we go up and around here. Well, we can stay out of sight, but if there's any breeze, like the breeze is coming from this way. So if we get even with him, he'll wind us. Snuck in pretty well, but he disappeared. Well, we'll keep looking. Pretty cool, hey? Mm -hmm. He's got some antlers. But even cooler is that in the same field, it's pretty big. there's a pretty, pretty nice black bear over there. <laughs> black bear and a bull elk.
Oh, one side is way bigger than the other. Is it broken or something? Yeah, his left side looks like a great big fork, and his right side looks like a proper antler. Oh, he's going to be a really interesting looking fella. beautiful day out here looking for a bear. It's a bit of a breeze but I think it's going the right way so we should be good. We're just like
just in case. Big safety eye. No. Go for it. You're okay. Yep. Yeah. You're fine. <laughs> okay. All right. Go pick. Pick it up. <laughs> all right, oh, his face is all bloody, but looks like he might have a point in his skull, though. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, lift his nose up a little bit more. Nice. It's not huge, but he's that's it's still a pretty a good nice size hide. bear. Yeah, it's a really nice hide, hey. Yeah. Is there any? There's like hardly any. Uh, like it hasn't I mean, rubbed. A little bit of rub there. A little bit of rub, but still pretty. Pretty, pretty yeah, good. I mean. That's awesome. Ooh, Christina, what a beautiful bear. There we go. Yeah. So it looks like you're hoping to keep that hide, Christina. Hmm, hopefully. <laughs> I think it's going to be pretty beautiful. Yeah. Nicely done, ladies. Look at this meat. Mm -hmm. It looks great. Look at all that beautiful meat. Nicely done. <laughs> We borrowed a meat grinder, but then we broke it. It was like a little half horse or what was it? A little, I don't remember. it was like a little grinder. But we have been cutting and processing our own meat for over 20 years now. And it just made sense to make an investment. So we bought the big one. This is, I don't know what the number means, uh, 22, but it is a- One horse. We bought the one horse. And it seems crazy, but it's not crazy at all. You need the one horse, because you'll probably break the half horse eventually. Anyways, this thing's been amazing. We've had it since Abigail got her first elk when she was 10. So that was almost, eight, eight years ago. almost a decade. But, okay, here's what's even more exciting. Check this out. This right here, and that right there, it looks unappetizing, <laughs> but that is our own sausage casing from our own pig for the first time we cleaned out the small intestine and we learned how to do it from the internet. And if I find the YouTube video that we checked out, it was actually like just exactly informative if you wanted to do it. Uh, I'll see if I can link that one. Uh, but I just told you exactly how to clean out the, the intestines to make sausage casing. Yeah, and probably. I'm really struggling here because have you, you seen that? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. With, I find it distracting too. Oh, yeah! Look at that! Stop, 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 stop! Whoa, what are you making? Like a two footer? Whoa. You have to a twist. Two -foot I'm pretty sausage. sure you can do Ooh. this without. That's our first sausage! Jeez. Rose! That's awesome. With our homemade sausage I know. casing from a pig. It's fabulous. Oh my. Stop. That is awesome. This casing is working great. It hasn't even burst or anything yet. Yeah. Jalapeno cheddar smokies with your own bear. With the bear you shot without me. Yep. And here they are. Smokies. 
the jalapeno cheddar smoky. Can you see that? It's got the flavor of the jalapeno. It's not hot. It's got little pockets of cheese. Mmm. I even see a jalapeno right in there. Can you see that? Mmm. So, you know, look at it. It's moist. But it's not like, it doesn't like blow up and explode with with fat or anything. They're not that fat. They're, they're less fatty than the ones you would buy in the store, for sure. What we put in here was 40 pounds of bear meat and 30 pounds of pork meat. And look at this. Oh man. That's just, that's a third of it. Yeah, or, or <laughs> less. That is a beautiful thing. Hey? Yeah, smokies are nice too. <laughs> You're reading my mind. Hey, isn't it a beautiful thing to be able to make your own food? It's very special to know where your food comes from. It's very special to be able to process it yourself and make delicious things, like not just like lame stuff. I'm talking about like five star. The cool thing about all this is, is you can do this. Even if you didn't grow up doing it, like we didn't, we never cut our own meat. We never raised our own animals when we were growing up, but you can learn. And of course, YouTube and the internet is full of information. And you know what, you end up with a community either right by you or online and you can learn stuff and boy does it feel good. Anyways, you guys can do this.